Hello friends, welcome back and today you are watching a new video from rheumatology series with MMS that makes medicine simple. Yes friends, medicine is fun if you make it simple. So rheumatic disease not only affects your joints but also affects your vital organs like your eyes, your brain, your lungs, your heart, your kidney and sometimes also causes hypoandrogenism, right? So let's first talk something very interesting very enthusiastic a symbol of glory bravery and proud so this is the glorious and very beautiful india's flag india's flag is a horizontal tricolor in equal proportion of deep saffron orange color on top white in the middle and dark green in the bottom each color represents something different something very interesting like saffron color represents that stands for courage, bravery. White color represents peace, unity and truth. And green stands for faith, fertility and prosperity. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's respectful. So love your country and others too. So let's talk again about rheumatic disease. Rheumatic disease also represents something very specific like India's flag. So let's see how. First, rheumatic disease also have a specific pattern of progress and recognition. On the behalf of that, they categorize as symmetric, asymmetric, and inflammatory and non-inflammatory, acute and chronic rheumatic disease. Second, rheumatic disease attacks peacefully. And on the time of diagnosis, you already have one or two serious extra articular manifestations. Extra articular manifestation means other than the joints like your heart, your kidney, your lungs, your eyes, right? And lastly, if you keep faith in your efforts and your doctor and your treatment, you can live a good life by decreasing the disease activity. So to understand better, let's break this word rheumatology. It's a Greek word and here room means a flowing current like a thin fluid. A fluid which spreads throughout the body like a current and causing symptoms with different different organs. Ology means the study of. This same like your ecology, your parasitology and your biology. So collectively this is the study of a flowing current or fluid. Rheumatology is a branch of medicine which is devoted to diagnosis and therapy of rheumatic disease. And this is all done by one specialist known as rheumatologist. So as now we already know that rheumatology is a branch of medicine devoted to the diagnosis and therapy of rheumatic disease. So what are those rheumatic diseases? They include degenerative arthropathies like osteoarthritis. Arthropathies means any disease of joints, right? Inflammatory arthropathies like familial Mediterranean fever and Stills disease. Crystal arthropathies like gout and pseudogout. Autoimmune disease like RA, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, erythematosus, SLE, and sarcoidosis, vasculitis like Kawasaki disease, Burgess disease, and Bechet's disease, right? And lastly, pain syndromes like fibromyalgia and tendonitis. Also, let's talk about soft tissue rheumatism, right? So, this is one local disease and lesions affecting the joints and structures around joints, including the tendons, ligaments, capsules, bursae, muscles, and connective tissues. Let's talk about diagnosis. Diagnosis of rheumatic disease cannot be confirmed with a single test. Rheumatic disease diagnosis is all about pattern recognition. As we already discussed that on the basis of joint involvement, presence of inflammation and duration of disease, rheumatic disease is categorized like symmetric and asymmetric, inflammatory, non-inflammatory, acute and chronic. So if this pattern matches with the patient's history, physical examination, lab testing and imaging studies, then that can be diagnostic for rheumatic disease. Also there are some physical examinations and specialized examinations which are performed by the specialist rheumatologist like Chobers test, especially for lumbar spine flexion movement, especially for patients with ankylosing spondylitis, also multiple joint inspection and musculoskeletal examinations and some lab testing like for ESR and CRP, rheumatoid factor, anti-CCP and ANA also x-rays, ultrasounds and other imaging methods for affected joints 
and lastly cytopathology of fluid aspirated from the affected joints. So after diagnosis, let's talk about the treatment of rheumatic disease. So most rheumatic disease are treated with analgesics, NSAIDs, that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, steroids, especially in serious cases, and then DMARDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Also monoclonal antibodies such as infliximab and adalimumab. TNF inhibitor etanercept and methotrexate for moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. Please take a note that methotrexate is the first line demand for the treatment of rheumatic disease, right? Also biological agents like rituximab, which are anti-B cell therapy and lastly rheuma surgery, especially in the cases where the medical therapy failed. So this is all about the introduction of rheumatology. Thank you so much for watching. In the upcoming lectures, we will talk about rheumatoid arthritis RA, osteoarthritis OA and gout very important lectures so please do subscribe the channel mms max medicine simple and also have this beautiful lady with rheumatic disease her name is simran and she is my imaginary patient so help her to reach and teach more and more people like her about this nasty disease stay safe study a lot thank you so much guys